moves, amen, when the Holy Spirit moves, <laughs> it gets very, very peculiar, amen, and thank you, Jesus. So, uh, so I'm not going to apologize for anything, amen. We're just uh, giving glory to God. But I'm going to be a little bit more, uh, I don't put people on the spot, do I? <laughs> uh, Miss Angie, will you stand up and just share what this conference was, uh, was like? I'll eat of the good of the land. Amen. And man, when you are obedient to Christ, things happen. Amen. All right. And so, Eric, we are good to go, sir. Amen. All right. When you're obedient, things happen. When you're obedient, whoo, God is on your side. When you are obedient and faithful, Amen. Willing and obedient, you shall eat of the good of the land, Scripture says. Amen. Amen. I just feel that in my spirit. Amen. Amen. We're going to keep the kids upstairs just one more week. Week. Amen. Uh, uh, let me just say this. Say, hey, let me just say this here, Lord willing. Amen. We'll keep you up here one more week. Amen. And, uh, and, our, and to our young people, listen to me right now. The enemy wants to still kill and destroy you. And he will stop at nothing. And you listen to me. I'm taking authority right now in the Holy Spirit. It's time that you make up your mind and that you fight for your soul. Amen. That you fight for your soul. Amen. And then, then let, let me tell you, you've got to take authority for yourself. Amen. And guess what? Right now, I'm taking it in Jesus' name for you. I'm taking authority right now. Amen. You are in a battle, and it's time to fight. Amen. Young people, amen. Come on. You've got to get it in your spirit. Stop playing games. If I can just be blunt about it, stop playing games. He's coming back too soon. You've got to get on fire and burn and purge. Man, amen. And this isn't part of the message. <laughs> uh, amen. Amen. So, but I just want to say God is good. Amen. And, uh, and then, amen. God had his way up here, and we're so thankful for that. But I want to talk to us here right now i want to talk to the adults I want to talk to the young people and i want to talk to the kids amen amen i heard that you had a fun time there amen that's awesome amen all right and then if i can title this i want to title it this old house there's there's a song and and no i'm not going to sing it for you amen because you guys wouldn't want to hear it this old house that i'm living in is needing so much repair it's letting in the cold, cold air. Huh? Yes. And boy, I wish somebody here knew, knew it and knows how to sing it because it's a wonderful song. Amen. But have you ever watched that TV show? I haven't seen it in a while, but it's called the Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Yes. Amen. With Ty. Good morning, Largent family. Yeah. Hmm? Good morning, Red and I are family. Yeah. Huh? And so, uh, <laughs> and, but then you know what? I think it's time for an, an extreme makeover Christian edition. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yes. This old house. Amen. This old house. Amen. Uh, for Ms., uh, Ms. Uh, Laura, when she was teaching teaching in her message she was talking about the temple of god 
Are you hearing him where this is uh, going? This old house that it, I'm living in, the temple of God, amen. It needs a Christian, amen, extreme makeover, amen. It's time that we stop uh, playing, playing church, amen, and be the church, as I always said. Amen, you know what? It was some of us look good on the outside, but then in the inside, I, our spiritual self is falling a mess. It's falling down. Huh? They may look good on the outside, but then on the inside, they are a disaster zone, a dysfunctional homes. Amen. I got these brand new glasses, first time ever wearing them, and they are bifocals, and it's messing me up. Will you take these? <laughs> but now I can't see you, so, but I can read at least. Amen. <laughs> but they may look good on the outside. You may look good on the outside. You may put on a show. You may fool pastor. You may, may fool Ms. Becky. But let me tell you who you are not fooling. You are not fooling the one who knows all things. The all-seeing, the all-knowing, the all-powerful, amen, who is everywhere. You cannot hide, hide, hide from him. Huh? They may look good on the outside, but on the, the inside, they are disaster zones. Divorce, adultery, wife swapping, swingers, single parent families. Grandparents raising grandkids born out of uh, wedlock. Homosexual and alternative lifestyle families. Folks, we need an extreme makeover in America. Yeah. Amen. In our homes. Can we say amen? amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Can I ask, is it hot in here? I was told, do not turn on that air. So we're not going to turn on the air. We're going to open every window. No. <laughs> But we do need an extreme makeover. Can, can you say amen? amen? We do. Even the ones who don't think that you do. Yeah. Pastor. Hello? Yeah. Pastor. Everybody point to, point to yourself. We need an extreme makeover, amen. There's always room for something. There's always room for growth. Can we say amen? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> but amen, we need an, an extreme makeover in America and in our homes. God must build. God must build. God must build, amen. God must do the building, amen. Folks, amen, let me tell you, it isn't Trump, and guess what? It isn't Biden, Biden who is going to build this country amen amen our security and the prosperity of of our nation rest in neither of their hands amen you can you can have amen the greatest man in the history of the world running this here, here country but the bible's truth is still bible amen amen psalms 127 says says this except the lord build the house come on Except the Lord build the house, thy labor in vain, that built it. Unless the Lord guards the uh, city, the watchman keeps awake in vain. Unless the Lord builds our house. My friend, there is no homeland security apart from God. Yes. Glory, hallelujah. It is God who designed this her nation. It is God who built this nation. And it is God who protects this nation. There's a song, God Bless America. It's more than a song. It is a truth. And the only way that this nation will continue to be blessed, listen to what I'm about to say. I talked about this here last uh, Sunday. The only way this nation will continue to be blessed, and that is if we continue to keep God central in it. What are you saying, Pastor? The principle of first. Yeah. The principle of first. We keep God central in it, and he chooses to bless. We need God to build our nation, and we also need him to build our families. That's the second thing I want to talk about, and that's we need God to build our families. Amen. Amen. Psalms 127. And again, except the Lord builds the house, thy labor in vain who built it. Let me tell you something. God designed the home. Amen. 
He invented it. He created it. Amen. He invented marriage and this whole parent-child thing. Huh? It's his ideal. And then if you leave God out of your family, amen, if you leave God out of your home, Amen. It will never be all it could be. Listen to me, dads. Amen. Listen to me, moms. Amen. If you leave God out of your home, you may be saying, well, we are just doing fine. But let me tell you something. If you leave God out of your home, it will never be all that God intended it to be. Amen. God. Amen. Amen. God intends you to be great. God, amen, intends, amen, for you to go over and beyond, amen. But it will never be all that it could be if you choose, if you choose to leave God out of your home. If you choose to keep God out of your life, amen, it will never be all that it could be. If you choose not to put the principle of first, amen. seek ye first. The kingdom, you know what, folks? You're going to hear a whole lot of this this year on the principle of first. Amen. If you want to grow, if you want to change, if you want to change people's lives, sorry, you will never change people's lives. But but uh, God could use you as a as a witness, as a tool, as a disciple. But you got to put the principle of first. Amen. God created families. Amen. I get so tired of people coming to me. And folks, I, I have been, we took over in 2012. You would not believe how many times we have heard this. Amen. People tell us that they've done all that they could do to save their marriage. Or they have done all that they can do to help their children, when they've left God out of the equation. My friend, if God is not the center, is he is not the bedrock. And folks, folks, I'm talking about the principle of first. That's what I'm talking about. An intimate, intimate re relationship that God is everything. Amen. Amen. How many of us, amen. You know what? I'm just going to get a little bit fanatical if I can. How many of us go to bed praying? Huh? How many of us wake up praying? How many of us drive into work, pray? What are you talking about, Pastor? I'm talking about praying without season. Did you know that you could pray without season? Hello? You don't have to be physically speaking it, but you can pray without ceasing. You've got to have him on your mind. Amen. Everything that you do, man, I feel the Holy Spirit right now. If you will get this in your lives, amen, if you will just apply this principle, the principle of first, hallelujah, amen, young people, when you take a test, amen, amen, when you go to school, you've got to put God first, amen, whenever you are talking to your friends, you've got to put God first, whenever you're hanging out with your friends, you've got to put God first, amen, amen, don't you be a follower, amen, don't you be a follower, you be a leader, you be a leader, amen, and you be a true witness, amen, for God, amen, and God loves those who worship him in spirit and in truth amen you be a leader you be a child of God amen yes. hallelujah and then those who are doing wrong and doing things that you know better shame on you <laughs> hello do you love me still <laughs> Jesus the Lord is challenging us He's challenging us. He's challenging the whole world. And he expects the principle of first. He's a merciful God. He's a loving God. He's a graceful God. He's always 100% full of grace. He's, he is always 100% full of mercy. But you know what else? The scripture also says he's a jealous God. And you are not to, to, to have any other idol before you. 
Hello? Hello? Thank you, Jesus. If he is not the bedrock of your life, if he is not first in your life and first in your heart, then you have not done everything you can to save your home. Did you hear what I just said? Did you just hear what I just said? If you've not done everything to put him first in your life and in, and in your heart, then you have not done everything you can to save your home. And some of you may say, well, I know this family and I know that family and they don't go to church and they don't apply the principle of first and they're doing fine. They're doing fine financially. Amen. They're doing fine. Listen, folks, they may be doing somewhat okay, but they are not living up to what God intended it to be. Amen. Amen. God, God intends for everybody to have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. The same is true of marriage and of your home. It may be okay. It may be good enough to get by. Your children may not be uh, doing everything right. And then you might even stay married to the same person until you die. But it will never be all it could have been. Can we say amen? amen. If God is not the center of it. Unless the Lord builds the house, thy labor is in vain. If it's going to last and be blessed, God must build the nation. If it's going to last and be blessed, God must build your home. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, and then the third and last thing I want to talk about, and that is, and if it's going to last and be blessed, God... Mm, Thank you, Jesus. If it's going to last and be blessed, listen, God must, must, must build this church. What are you talking about? Everything here belongs to him. Amen. This is not Jim Hargit's kingdom. This is not your kingdom. Gene. This is not your kingdom here. This is God's kingdom. Amen. Amen. And God must build this church. Otherwise, our labor's in vain. We have to get, get it out of our mindset. Amen. And folks, I don't know why I'm going here. Here, amen. But we got to get it out of our mindset. They would never survive without me being there. Huh? I just read a scripture this here, this here morning. Morning, amen. And we got to be careful that we don't think of ourselves to be something when we're never that we're nothing. Huh? Hello? God has to build this church, and God will build this church. Amen. Amen. Uh, amen. Upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell, what? Huh? Shall not prevail. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let me see if I can find the scripture that I was talking about. Amen. Mm -hmm. ha, Romans chapter 12, verse 3 says, For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think so soberly according as God had dealt to every man the measure of faith. We're here because of him. He's building his church. Amen. And he wants a relationship with everybody. So you see, see, it isn't his will that anybody perishes. What you did up here, sister was the best thing you could ever do for your life. And then if you ever, if you ever attend, I'm not pushing this. I promise you I'm not pushing this. If you ever attend, intend to grow up and have a family, to have everlasting life, this is the best thing you could have ever did for your life. You start a Putting him first in everything you do. 
and letting him lead and guide you and make all the right choices, huh? Let me tell you something. Your life's going to flip upside down. And watch everybody around you want what you have. And that's the Holy Spirit. Amen. You apply the principle of first to your life. Amen. Amen. And <laughs> amen. God is good. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I promise, Amy, I'm not pushing any marriage. <laughs> you wait till you, you are 40, okay? <laughs> <laughs> forgive me <laughs> thank you Jesus but he must build our church listen 2020 it was a rough it was a rough year amen but I'm going to flip that around I'm going to flip that around listen 2020 has been a good year for second chance 2020 has been a good year for second chance ministries what, Pastor? How can you say that? How can you say that? Amen. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Early, early last uh, year, he put it on our hearts to go a certain direction, and we did. He prepared us for what was coming next. He told us to dress for what is next. He told us to, I mean, told us about the changing of the garments. Amen. He told us to prepare for what's next, and he. And what he guide us, he led us, amen. And what's so awesome? His word says that he will lie, and no, 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 he will lead <laughs> and guide. I was trying to say lead and guide at the same time. <laughs> what a time to stutter. <laughs> but he was leading and guiding us, and his word says that he will lead and guide what into all truth truth and that's what he did 2020 was a good year for us amen amen how can you say that because we've seen people's life change and being touched right hello if he has touched your life this year raise your hand look around folks huh you're still here by a show of hand who here has had covid this year And you're still here. You're still here. Right? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We've seen people's lives change. If your life has changed, God's good. We have seen several people in 2020. Amen. Baptized in the wonderful name of our Lord. Amen. Just, amen, just last March. Amen. And, and, amen. Just last March, we baptized 16 people in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Darren, 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 the ladies of retreat. Retreat. How many? 13, 13 ladies baptized in the name of Jesus. Amen. 2020 was a good year. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And guess what? One of those, one of those 29 people was a Buddhist who gave her life to Christ and was baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. And guess what? Amen. Amen. And she still calls us. Amen. And talks to us about God. Amen. Woo! Glory. It was a good year. Lives are being changed and people are being touched. Amen. And guess what? We did this through Christ. He was building his church. Amen. So, yes, 2020 was a good year. Amen. Huh. We have put on several great programs. Amen. We put on great programs. Amen. Look at the VBS. It was such a success. Amen. Look at our Fall Fest. It was cold, but guess what? We had first time visitors there. Amen. 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 We we put on great programs. Amen. Hallelujah. We have gained new members in 2020. Amen. Amen. We, we gained, amen, what, about 13, no, no, 13 no, 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 new members? Now, granted, 10 of them was the Kaufman family. 
But, folks, right here, new members. 14? Mason. 15. Okay. Hang on. I'm getting there. No. You're messing me up here. Ten of them, the Kaufmans. Courtney, amen, came around Easter, amen, and guess what? The Lord dealt with her. We, we needed people to step up to the plate. The Lord dealt with her, amen, and she came and talked to us, and we already ready were saying, yeah, yeah, and now she is the new youth leader, amen, amen. So that there's 11. Angie and Eric Redenier and her, and her two boys. There's 15. Steve and Julie. There's 17. And Mason. 18. Am, am I missing any? Natalie! How can I forget Vicky? How many is that now? God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. Amen. And God's building his church. It isn't anything that we're doing, but it is him. It is Jesus Christ and him. Amen. And Jesus Christ and him crucified. Amen. It is Jesus building his church. Hallelujah. All we have to do is just be willing and obedient. There it is again. All we have to do is just be willing and obedient. Amen. And let him lead and guide you into all truth. Amen. Amen. And then I might as well go there because it's coming to me like a ton of bricks and you know what and he, it's time that we stop being rebellious Amen. and fighting stop being a Saul and be a Paul right. when you fight everything that God's trying to do are you hearing what I'm saying if you're trying to fight everything that God's trying to do he sent us a young, a young little leader. Brandon was doing a fine job, job, but, and I don't mean to use the word but, Brandon wanted somebody else to take it, and Brandon wants to, to, Brandon wants to work more in the ministry of elders. Right, sir? Amen. And. But God's trying to do something. He sent us a, a, uh, a young person to, amen, guide our young people. He sent her here for a reason. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And how dare us fight against that? Amen. How dare us, amen. We should be pushing our, we should be pushing our kids at her and say, take them. Come on, parents, say amen. amen. Take them and lead them and guide them. Be a witness to them. Stop being a Saul and be a Paul. Stop fighting against the will of God. Amen. That's free too. <laughs> In 2020, God has been so, so, so good. During a worldwide pandemic, we had process. During a worldwide pandemic, churches, you know what? I go into homes every day, and people tell me that they're still having online services. They have not been able to go back to in-person service. Per churches are sitting idle, and we had process. God, during a worldwide pandemic, amen, amen, helped us build a playground for you wonderful kids, amen, amen. During a worldwide pandemic, we had process. We kept moving forward because we serve a God that is on the move, and we followed that cloud, amen. Last just, amen. God prepared us, amen, amen. And during a worldwide pandemic, we built a pavilion, Folks, that is unheard of. Yes. Let me tell you something else that was so amazing. During, during all that process, 
we had the, the majority of the youth out there helping us. Come on. We had the majority of the kids out there, and we had a large amount of adults out there doing something. Amen, amen, and picking up shovels. Amen, 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 picking up stuff, carrying bags of concrete. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> but during a worldwide pandemic, you want to know what I saw out there? I saw unity. And we talked about this here last week. A, a healthy church is a unified church. Can we say amen? Amen. amen? amen. But let me tell you this. It's not the buildings. It's, uh, it is not the property. It is not programs. It is not advertisements that build the church. It's God Almighty. Amen. It's God Almighty. He says, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. We must, must, must remember that this church is his and not ours. Amen. It is for his glory. It is for his honor. And he must be first and foremost in all that we do. Unless God builds this church, we are wasting our time. Amen. Chase, if you want to come on up, son, or, or, or if you want to put some music on, that's fine. But if Jesus builds this church, then the gates of hell will not be able to stand against it. Whenever we put God first, God must do the building. And listen, he, he must be the one who builds our nation. He must be the one who builds our homes. And he must be the one who builds this church. And, but, uh, but guess what? He builds all three with people. The building God wants to do begins with you. The building that God wants to do and the growth God wants to do begins with you. Up here. It begins with you up here begins with us up here including pastor hello he builds all three of them with with people and guess what he wants godly people huh it begins with you it starts with you you can't change or fix your spouse let me say that again amy you can't fix john donna you can't fix Billy, and <laughs> and guess what? I can't fix Becky. <laughs> but, but, listen, listen. But I can work on me, huh? Jean, you can work on you. Vicky, you can work on you. Gavin. You can work on you. It has to start with you. It has to start with you. Casey, it has to start with you. Hello? It has to start with you. You can't change or fix this church, but you can work on you. God is the only one that gives the increase. Jesus. And you can't change or fix this here nation, but, but it can begin with you. Dad says it all the time. This is his favorite scripture. If my people, which are called by my name, that's you and I, shall humble themselves and pray, and turn from their wicked ways and seek his face then will he hear from heaven and then he will heal their land but it starts with you it starts with me amen Jeremiah 29 13 says this and ye shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart with all your heart 
with all of your heart. Everybody say all. You know what that tells me? That tells me put him first. Put him first. I am going to hound that all year long. I want a banner somewhere. I want a banner somewhere. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. I want a banner saying the principle of first. All year long, I want you to walk through those doors and see a big sign saying the principle of first. You want revival in your life you want revival in this nation you want it in your home and then let me tell you if you want it in our church it has to do with the principle of first putting him first in everything we do amen and stop bucking up against the system and be a Paul amen 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 don't make him amen knock you down blind hello God's wanting to work, but who will let? Who will, who will let him? Are you willing to humble yourself enough? Let's all stand. Let's all stand. If you want to see revival, in our nation, in your home, and in this church. It must begin with you. Can you put up Romans 12, 1 through 2? It must be important enough to you that you are willing to put actions to your words. Will you take these steps to change? I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God. Listen, I beseech you. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the what? By the mercies of God. Let me tell you something. You've got God on your side. You've got his mercy. You've got his grace. But, but let, let me tell you something. You've got to bring your body under subjection. Amen. And you've got to submit and you've got to humble yourself. Amen. 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 And that, that and you present your bodies. Woo. Amen. A living sacrifice. Holy. Holy. Amen. If you're doing things that are not holy and, and that is acceptable to him. Oh. Mine. Hello? Hello? I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service. King James says your reasonable service. Amen. And verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. Amen. So, are you willing to surrender and make him boss? And are you willing to, amen, renew your mind? Every time you feel like you're tired and you want to buck up against the system, and when I say system, I'm not talking about us. I'm talking about the will of God. He has a plan for this church and for the people of this church. <laughs> and I'm going to close. Jesus. Revelations chapter 3. Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him and he with me. We started off talking about the extreme makeover show. One thing I noticed 
that every time Ty, the host, I, I guess his, I guess his name is Ty, right? And every time he showed up and said, good morning, not one single person didn't open the door. Why? Why? They, because they was getting something new. They was getting a new home. And God's at the door. Good morning. Good morning. Are you going to open the door? Are you going to open the door to him and get a brand new home, a brand new house? Amen. We are the temple of God. Hallelujah. And guess what? God wants to do an extreme, an extreme, and an extreme Christian home makeover. Guess what? If, if, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Hallelujah. He, amen. If any man be, be in Christ, hallelujah, you're made new. You're made whole. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory. Huh. Yes. And guess what? It don't just stop there. Hallelujah. Let's just take it to, hey, hallelujah. And all. And all your old ways are what? Passed away. Old things pass away, and behold, all things become brand new. It's time that we let Christ in our homes, folks. Young people, listen to me. Listen to me very clearly. Look around you. Look around our nation. Look around the world. We are closer now than we've ever, 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 ever been. Closer than we've ever, ever, ever been. It's time that we let Christ in our homes. And I'm talking about here. I'm talking about here. And he's bringing something good. It's a brand new home. He wants to fill you with his spirit. He wants to lead and guide you. He wants to sup with you. He wants a personal relationship with you. Amen. Isn't, isn't he good? Amen. Amen. You know what? Let's just find a place.